Alrighty, hi everyone, I'm back. Um, this is probably going to be the last of the series of this book thing, I hope. Anyway, um, I went and cleaned up, had some lunch, um, went through my piles of focal images and words. Uh, I didn't think you needed to watch me do that. Um, and I fussy cut it. Do you know what fussy cutting is? That's where you take an image like this one and you go cut all the way around the outside so that it's just the image by itself and not the whole page. So I did that, um, decided which images and words I wanted on which page. And so I wanted to show you how these look before I put anything else on them. There's the red one for book one. Oh, I did print out um, my book titles and the dates that the that this journal is is through, and I got myself a pile of uh, matte medium ready to go. So, and I found this washi tape while I was cleaning up. It says "Be Happy." So on every one of these journals, right in the corner, I'm going to put "Be Happy." So this one I decided was going to go here. Like so. I found some of these images. I remember I got this from a an art book. If you go to the um, library bookstore, that's where I get a lot of my magazines. Um, they often have magazines from, um, you know, various places and, and like the uh, art magazines or the Smithsonian magazines have really good images in them. That one, and then this was going to go like this found these quotes. Uh, some of them are from magazines. Well, most all of them are from magazines, but some of them are from um, Guidepost magazine. I don't know if you're a subscriber to that, but this quote says, you don't have a soul. You are a soul. You have a body. It's always good to remember that who you are isn't your physical body. Who you are is your soul. Your soul lives forever. Your body, it's here temporarily. Some of us were blessed with better bodies than others. But, um, yeah. We are all here on this earth for a short period of time. We got to do with our bodies what we can. Help them to last as long as possible. But we're just guardians of those bodies. Let's see, how did I say I wanted this? I wanted this. Here, here, and here, I think. Yeah, okay. So the first layer is that one. It goes there, approximately. Um, if you're going to print out things to do art journaling, um, I would suggest either taking it to a copy shop and having them print it or um, finding someone who has a laser printer. If you have a um, inkjet printer, the the uh, adhesive will make your ink run. Uh, it helps to have a photocopy or a laser printer. Laser printer works great for this. She's going to go there. It's gotten very warm today. It was nice when I had the door open, but I can't leave the door open. Too much sound and too much wind. Something like that. And then this one will go here. This quote is, I think it was in a travel magazine. 
that it says it's not what you're getting away from, it's what you're getting away to, which is an awesome way to think about life, right? Try to try to do things in your life that 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 you're not running away from things, but you're moving toward moving toward positive goals and so forth. And then I want to do this little bit of washi. Right in the corner that says be happy. Does it really match the rest of the cover? Not particularly, but I don't care. Be happy. Just be happy. Be kind to one another. Make the world a better place. Be happy. Just like that. So I'm going to bring that up so you guys can see the whole thing. It's going to have the glue on it, so it's going to be a little hard to see. But there's that one. And there's that one. Let's let that dry. Very good. Then for book two, I've got them all stacked up over here very carefully. I'm trying really hard not to whoosh what I had decided. That and this. I'll show you what it looks like now before I finish. That's what it looks like dry. See, it's got the sparkly with the gold. I like the sparkly with the gold. I'm going to cover most of that up, but that's okay. Looks cool just like like it is. I mean, you could totally stop right here. But I want to do this. I decided he's going here. This one's going here. Really didn't. Th this girl was cool. She's his graduation. It's got the right colors, but it just doesn't it doesn't spark joy for me. So I'm going to cover her up. I like this sort of dark and moody picture that I found. I think it was from a travel, one of those travel catalogs that I was talking about before. That's where it came from. Appears to be some sort of, either that or it was at a university, you know, one of those like university catalogs. But anyway, it's a moon. Uh, building. This guy needs more glue up here. Okay. This is some sort of sculpture that also is out of that art magazine. Art magazines are awesome for finding images. But you know, if you're if you're into cars. You can have your, your art journal filled with cars. Or if you're into sports, you could have it filled with sports figures. You know, whatever you you are into. Where did I say I was going to do that? I was going to do that over here. This kind of went with this quote I found. It says, everyone was welcome here, but often the king came to seek Meditation alone. Sometimes, sometimes you got to do your thing by yourself and alone, you know. And then this went this way. Yeah. Okay, so the butterfly goes first, going from about here. And then this was going to go here. 
going to need more glue. like that and then I want that to go across like that. Creativity. So this is my uh, session step four on the just journaling by fives which is words and images. That is that step. That goes down there. Oh, come here, you. I'm going to need more. Oh, I didn't put the be happy on there. Come back here, book two, before you finish. Be happy. Be happy. Perfect. Okay. More glue. That's why I buy the matte medium in such a big jar. If I can find this big jar on sale, I grab it. I think this one was on clearance, as a matter of fact, once. No, I take it back because I used up the clearance jar for my ceiling project. Uh, this I had to buy fresh. Come on. Don't cross thread your thing. Make sure you get it closed because you don't want that. Okay, so this is these three go over here. And these go over here. And I'm going to show you what it looks like before I put anything else on it. That looks like that. Okay. And then this guy loved his face. Look at that. Look at that face. That's the face of somebody who's super happy or super surprised, one or the other. Either way, it goes perfectly with the sentiment I found. So he's going there. Try to scrape off as much excess glue. No, no need for excess there, but um, that goes about like this. Like that. Found this. These little cartoon images that say joy. That for sure goes with this image. He is a happy young man. And then I found this quote that says, I've learned people will forget what you said, people will forget what you did, but people never forget how you made them feel. And I totally agree with that. Do I remember every conversation I ever had with some people in my life? No, I absolutely do not. But do I remember how they treated me and how they made me feel? Absolutely. I think that needs to be trimmed so it doesn't hang off the page. How uh, did I decide I was going to go like that, right? Yeah. I like to put my sentiments on a little crooked. Well, actually, a lot crooked. If you have it a lot crooked, it looks intentional. But if you try to make it straight and it's a little bit crooked, it looks crooked. So I like to just make it way crooked on purpose. So it doesn't look like I tried to make it straight. That's my hint for you guys. Okay, so then I decided this was going there, this was going here, and this.
this is going here, here on top. Yeah. Okay. So the one, the one, the bottom layer is the sort of. I think this came out of like a good housekeeping or something. It looks like felt hearts from a Valentine's post or article. You know, if print magazines ever eventually go away, that'll be sad for us who do uh, art journaling. You can still art journal, but you would have to print out images on your computer. It's not exactly what I want to do. I think I'll put it down a little bit further so I could still see some of that white up there. Make sure you get your corners. Don't want your corners peeling up. Go over the top of everything. is going to go over here somewhere like that. Trash day. They're late. It's almost three o'clock in the afternoon. They're late. Okay. So now that's what this one looks like. Down there. Oh. Oh, well, that's all right. I have to take it off anyway in a second. Okay. So here's what the green one ended up looking like. Can you see? I don't know if you can see the metallic. It's in this right here and over here. Can you see the metallic shimmer? Maybe right here in the light you can see it. I don't know if you can see it, but it came out cool. I like it. I'm going to make this more even. Yeah, that's better. Okay, so I want this one first. Has to be way over. Okay. Okay. Something like that. Come on, get some glue under that corner. This one too. It's all sticking up. I am kind of missing doing this with some music on. I can't put music on because YouTube will give me a copyright strike. But I do miss my tunes. Okay, so then this one's going to go here. Right in this general area. Don't be, don't be skimpy on the glue. Nobody ever said, gee, I wish I hadn't put enough glue on there, that so much glue on there. Said no one ever. Ok, 
Okay, balance says inspired. I'm being inspired today. I think I'm gonna need more glue again because I still have another whole book to do. Like I said, don't be stingy on the glue. I see I like the gel better than I like the liquid because the gel doesn't make your paper wrinkle as much. It still wrinkles. It's always going to wrinkle, but it's not as much. Something in my glue there. Okay, so I want this girl down here. Found these images of these girls that were doing a color run um, for charity. I think this up kind of applies to this quote I found. So I think they go together really well. I think, you know, the charity is for some sort of, I don't know which one it was because, you know, this magazine article, I cut these, I cut these things out of this magazine like probably in 2015 or 16 when I was really into the art journaling. So who knows how long that he is. This girl here reminds me, her facial structure reminds me of my friend Jana from high school. And then the quote says, we must recognize that healing doesn't always mean a physical cure. God always heals, but he knows what to heal. And sometimes, sometimes we have to just accept the fact that, that there is part of our physical body that is just going to fail. It's that, you know, it is. We live in a, in a difficult world and, and diseases happen and Accidents happen. Sometimes a physical healing is not what God does for us. But he does. Oh, I didn't put my be happy on the last one. He does heal his own way. Be happy. I forgot to be happy on this one. Come back here and get a be happy. I need to stick a little glue on that. So she, so she stays glued. I put the glue on that other two? I don't remember. I've already forgotten. I think I did, but I don't remember. So you know what? We're just going to reach down here and stick a little glue over the top of these just to be safe. I think I did. Okay. Okay, so now this is what book four looks like. Looks like that. And like this. Hey, look at those happy faces. What fun. Okay. Oh, there's a staple on my floor. I should not want to step on that in my bare feet. Okay, and then here is the blue one, the last one. Um, see, I cut out, remember I, I picked this from that magazine, that travel magazine? It goes perfect right there. Okay, so let me take these like that, and then these. Remember how I want them like that. I'm going to show you what this looks like. See the metallic? Yeah, you can really see the metallic on that one. That's what that looks like, up close and personal. I do about half there, like that. Ooh. 
Okay, so the first thing I need to do is this one. I found this sort of infusion teapot thing. Cool picture. Very blue. Hello, wind. You can stop now, really. Can you hear the wind whistling through my window? And then this one was going to go here. I found this sort of, I don't know, looks like some sort of jade carving or something. I don't know what that is exactly, but he's going to live right there. And then we're going to put this word dreamers right in front. Okay. How are we doing for time? We're doing all right. Only problem is, is I'm probably going to have to Probably going to have to stitch these two together because I'm not done. But I don't want four videos. So we will stitch them into three because I need to let these things dry. They're not drying as fast as I had hoped. So may have to finish this off tomorrow. It's getting too dark for me to be out here. Once the sun gets over there to the west starts to set even though I have all the lights on in my studio it gets really too dark to work out here I could but and then this one I found this this quote we all obsess about what we are doing and accomplishing what if we let it go and simply made the way we live our lives our accomplishment yeah why don't we do that why don't we just let it go and make our lives the accomplishment? Let's let's rather than talk about it, let's just do it. Stop obsessing about being perfect and trying to be the biggest and best. Let's just let's just be ourselves. Okay, so that came out pretty good. I like this one. And that one. And then they have to dry. Um, the next step is to do um, details with pen, pencil, ink, you know, the, the, the top part, the embellishment part. And they really do need to be completely dry for that. So I guess I'm going to stop filming for today. I will be back tomorrow. i got to put my be happy on here. I will be back tomorrow in the morning to finish these guys off. And then I will connect tomorrow's video in with today's video. So you guys only have to have three. You don't have to have uh, a whole four or five series. Three is good enough. Um... I will try to plan it out so that it's one week. So I think, if I remember correctly, I need to record one more uh, drawing video for a Friday because I think the last I left off was a third was a Wednesday video. So I need to do one more of those, and then I could put these up in a row Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. That's what's going to happen. Okay. 
looks good. Everything's looking good. I will see you guys in a moment for you and tomorrow for me. Bye-bye.